After radio silence from the Italian Coast Guard, on Saturday they responded to calls for help, transporting 49 migrants from charity vessel the Louise Michelle to the island of Lampedusa. There were 32 women, 13 children, four men and one body, an unidentified migrant who failed in their dream to start a new life in Europe. They had been on the Louise Michelle, a search and rescue ship funded by renowned British street artist Banksy. Named after a 19th century French anarchist, Banksy painted it with a fire extinguisher and tagged it with a modified image of his balloon girl. It launched last week from near Valencia, but the 30 metre ship and its crew of 10 have been quickly overwhelmed. It came across nearly 90 people floating in a rubber boat on Wednesday, then 130 more off the coast of Libya. Eventually, with an overcrowded deck, they tethered life rafts to the ship and called Italy, Malta and Germany for urgent help, but received no assistance. The reason that uh, Louise Michel was not able um, to move was because they were towing these two life rafts um, alongside to not overcrowd the decks too much and also to have um, a place for the dead body that was unfortunately found in uh, that boat in distress. As the drama unfolded, Banksy posted this on Instagram. Gonna let it go. I'm selling for 860,000. Writing, like most people who make it in the art world, I bought a yacht to cruise the Med. It's a French Navy vessel we converted into a lifeboat because EU authorities deliberately ignore distress calls from non-Europeans. He goes on to say, all black lives matter. The UN says 44,000 migrants have crossed the Mediterranean this year. 5,000 have been rescued, mainly by charity ships. 500 have drowned. There's a very dire, a very uh, preventable and a very unacceptable situation going on in the, in the Mediterranean right now. UNHCR is deeply, deeply concerned by the continued absence of EU-led search, res search and rescue vessels. The UN has called for Europe to do more as a whole, so countries like Italy and ports like Lampedusa don't bear a disproportionate load in the migrant crisis. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.